Hey everyone, this is Sho, and thanks for checking out the video. So after a fantastic October with so many good strategy releases, we now have to set our sights on November, and um, perhaps not in the typical idea of strategy games. There isn't really too much coming out, but there are a lot of great games coming out in November that I personally feel definitely deserve the strategy tag. So for this video, we're going to take a look at five upcoming strategy or strategy inspired games coming out in November 2021. Let's take a look. So coming in at number five, we have probably what was my most hyped reveal from the previous Nintendo Direct, and that is KOTOR getting a Switch release coming out November 11th. Oh man, this is just, this is a game from my childhood, and I am so Star excited Wars to have the chance to play it Nintendo once more Switch. on the go on the Switch. For those of you who aren't familiar with Knights of the Old Republic, or KOTOR as it's informally known, basically it is, I guess you could say, a Dungeons & Dragons inspired RPG set in the Star Wars universe. You of course make an original character, can go on quests in a grand elaborate Star Wars adventure with probably one of the biggest twists in all of gaming that gets revealed. I find this to be a great strategy pick because if you are aware of Dungeons and Dragons and how much effort goes into getting gameplay to work for it, you'll know that there's a lot of number crunching that you'll need to be doing. Anyway, once again, Kotor coming out on November 11th, definitely worth checking out. Now my pick for number four is something that's probably a bit of a mixed bag for many people, but that would be Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now these are the Gen 4 remakes that everyone has been begging for for years now, finally making it to the Switch. Definitely changes in, I think, the overall aesthetic, but I'm not too bothered by that. I'm a bit on the fence with this myself, as I do enjoy Pokemon games. I'm quite an avid fan and I play them often, but I'm not too sure if I can commit to going back to Gen 4 now, uh, especially with how much kind of lack of compatibility it is with some of the newer entries. But this is a fantastically strategical game, I would say. Um, obviously, this is a crazy game involving numbers, information, making the right decisions, strategy, planning, team creation. So definitely worth to take a look if you're into the Pokemon genre and into the Pokemon series. And yeah, it's getting released in November 19th. Dropping in at number three is something that was kind of very softly released during the September Direct, but that would be Airborne Kingdom, uh, a new city builder that is scheduled to come out on the 9th of November. And yeah, this is quite interesting. Um, I'm not 100% into city builders, but I can appreciate uh, the aesthetic of when they are presented in a unique fashion, and that is exactly what I'm seeing here. Airborne Kingdom seems to be promising an excellent city builder aspect with a lot of, seems like dynamic sort of situations you need to deal with. Uh, apparently it was released in Steam earlier in 2020 with fairly positive reviews for the most part. So definitely might be worth checking it out. Then again, this is a PC to Switch port, so who knows how much we'll be going to sacrifice, especially when we think about some previous city builders that have already come out. Anyway, if this sounds good to you, it does come out November 9th. Now, my choice for number two, actually, I was going to drop in last month's uh, October strategy releases, but when I kind of double-checked and realized it was coming out in the West in November, I decided to push it back to now, and that will be Blue Reflection Second Light, releasing on November 9th. This is a game that uh, the Japanese release is going to be later this month, so hopefully I'll be able to pick it up uh, and get Attack Review ready in time for its release in the West, so you guys can check it out if you haven't already. Uh, I have uploaded the demo for this as well that was released in the Japanese eShop uh, a few weeks back. Definitely a good game, a nice Koei Tecmo RPG that takes place in sort of a magical girl universe. Sounds a bit cheesy, but don't let that fool you. It actually has a really, really deep story, and it has a nice combination of feel-good vibes, slice of life, with a rather, maybe, disturbing Madoka Magica sort of battlefield. 
Anyway, once again, coming to the West on the 9th of November, Blue Reflection Second Light, definitely a JRPG worth checking out. And finally, at number one, uh, everyone's long-awaited game, Shin Megami Tensei V, getting its release worldwide on the 12th, uh, I guess in the West, and the 11th in Japan. This game obviously has been on the works for years now. People have been asking for this. It was, what, five years ago was the first trailer we got? Like 2017, 2018? Finally coming out now. Uh, for those of you who aren't fully aware of what SMT is, this is the basically the mainline series that Persona stems from, and it is a very dark monster collecting RPG. But rather than the monsters, you're dealing with uh, mythological demons and entities from various cultures and mythologies around the world. What's known, what the big thing that this is known for is its immensely challenging difficulty. You really need to be strategic in party choice, ability choice, stat choice, um, and taking advantage of all the game's systems in order to get to the final boss and get through. That's what Shin Megami Tensei is all about. Anyway, once again, coming out on the 12th of November in the West, 11th in Japan. I will be covering this on the channel later on in the month, so do be sure to check out my initial impressions. All right, and there we have it. Five strategy or strategy-inspired games coming out in November 2021, uh, mostly in the West this time, so kind of focused on that now, which is good. Uh, I'm personally looking forward to covering Blue Reflection, Second Light, as well as SMT5. Uh, and I don't know if I'll slide a little bit of KOTOR in there, but I hope I can, because I always like going back to old classics. Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for checking out the video. Much appreciated as always. If you haven't already, please be sure to uh, like the video, leave some comments on any of the videos that you think are really, really good, and be sure to subscribe. Uh, join the growing community that we have going here. Again, any love you send my way just adds to that passion and motivation. All right, well, this is show. Thanks for checking out the channel in this video. And remember, if things get going tough, just be sure to switch strats. Cheers.